Hi everyone, welcome to yet another episode of Prasiddhi Podcast. Let's continue our conversation with Ramalingam, founder and CEO of Big My Gig and Praramban Creative Works. And no, the reason behind his bold step of resigning from his well-paying job just a week before his marriage. While we were discussing earlier, you said that you and Pratik are very different in nature, both of you. Yeah. So, but you have some things in common as well. So, just share some of your adventures together, apart from, of course, Big My Gig that we know uh, is there. Uh, so, Pratik as an individual is a very uh, laid-back kind of a person. He's an artist. He's a guitarist. Performs for twelve years. So, he's, he's typically that kind of a person. He's Aram and uh, is enjoying his life and things like that. Uh, and I am more of a person who is process oriented, punctual. I, I am your typical Tam Bram who is focused on life and uh, all those things. So we have had a, uh, I would not call it adventures, miss adventures as well, a lot of them. Yeah, so since, since as I mentioned to you, uh, we were competitors in uh, college, we also be part of uh, teams together. Uh, so other than this, we won. Uh, some more corporate competition. We were featured on uh, CNBC TV 18 for one of our competitions called Line, and uh, we were one of the winners in there. The way we prepared and the way, so uh, he is a, he is actually uh, three years younger to me, as well, and uh, he has had his own fair share of failures and success in life. But beyond work, we are very good friends. One thing that we I like about him is we share the same value system. We don't want to be dishonest with anyone. We don't want to uh, fool anyone because as I mentioned, we also run another uh, agency kind of thing called Praramban Creative Works. So, wherein people seek our advice for digital marketing, social media and, or even developing uh, creatives and or any kind of marketing. Although we uh, give advice and we help a lot of startups uh, in our own small capacity, we are very honest about whatever we are talking and um, if we don't know it, we say we don't know it and so it's a tradition that we have mentioned in our uh, organization as well. So, whoever joins, you tell them. If you don't know, tell them. Frankly speaking, we are getting paid for things. Two years back, we had never thought we had the skill. Pushing each other and uh, working hard. We have set up a second venture now, which is almost nine months and um, doing really well. So, that's uh, different likes and dislikes, different preferences. He likes to go out, chill out at night, go to bars, and, and, the, and one sitting at home reading some book. Give each other our space. We have fun. Uh, we respect each other's decisions. Uh, that's how it is. That's great. So, um, Ram, there is one other thing that uh, about you when we were talking that had really shocked me and I don't know how many people would have the courage of doing that, which is uh, quitting your uh, well-paying job just a week before your marriage. And, uh, you know, it is, it takes, uh, it is, a, it was a very bold step, I am very sure. And you would have given your thoughts about it. And you would have your own, had your own inhibitions, maybe. But just talk to me about your family. How did everybody around you react to this, to, you know, your decision of uh, quitting the job? How, what, what did everybody say? So, see, see the decision uh, a week before marriage uh, was not just, uh, it, it eventually became slightly dramatic. But the idea was that, in the, in the job that I was, I was going to be given a project that I had to handle and I would have to have given a commitment of uh, close to two years and I knew that it's not going to happen, I won't be sticking around for two years for sure and uh, second of all, I was, the company also understood that uh, we were at a situation in the I take up some the job or I have to uh, or they will have to have someone else and when I communicated this to my wife, uh, so she has been she has been always supportive throughout my journey and uh, has been part of uh, some of my misadventures in, in before. So it, it was it was clear from her side. She said yes, this is what you dream of, and uh, she has seen me how I interact when I'm around with uh, in an entrepreneurship meeting or even today when I'm entering some young startups. She sees that happiness in my face, and she is very clear that this is what you want to do. So she was very supportive and all that. Coming to my family, my, my parents uh, know that I have been trying to do something. When this thought came up, my, my father asked me to think about it. My mother has always been uh, supportive in, in that sense. My father has been always practical in that sense. So he asked me to think about it. Uh, it's your decision. My family has no background of business. Uh, my family is one of those typical uh, Tamil families which feels business is bad. But they, they asked me and they saw honesty in my uh, face and the honesty in my answers. So they said, okay, we'll support you, whatever it is. And um, when my wife, uh, so at time, future wife was also 
supportive about this. They were like, okay, it's your family that you're going to stay. Uh, and today, when things are going well, uh, everyone is so happy. Like, and so like that, uh, rather than uh, uh, like me uh, having to be answerable to them or feeling in a negative sense, they have been really supportive. Okay. All right. So uh, just talk to me about how do you strike balance between your work and personal life? I mean, you are working so much, you have so many tasks on your hand. How do you strike that balance? We have a room, like, uh, after eight or as soon as my wife. So my wife has a, she also works and she has a shift that is ending at around 8, 8.30. So, so whenever she is back, we decide that you know, we have to stop work or whatever it is. So that's one thing that we do. And uh, secondly, the day we started the business, uh, we had decided that one day in a week we should uh, let ourselves uh, go free. Other than that, uh, see, I learned this from one of our, our professors that trying to strike a balance between work and life uh, is very difficult. Uh, rather than we should try to integrate work and life together. And we are happy with uh, wherever we are today. Yeah, you have a regular problems and stuff, but okay. That's good, that's great. So, uh, let's just talk about, uh, um, you know, you and Pratik. How do you two resolve your differences uh, regarding any business decision or something? You might not agree to one particular thing. So, how do you two resolve that? So, uh, one good thing or one bad thing about me is that I can be really uh, good at convincing something. Which is also bad because I can go to any extent to convince. So even if I am wrong, I may go on trying to convince the other person. Wherein I find Pratik to be very strong there. Where he if he finds something is wrong, he holds it wrong. It's not that because I am so convincing him and I'm so uh, so he sometimes thinks I am better than him or I sometimes feel he is better than me. So he doesn't get that come up. Uh, he ensures he, that his the, the right thing goes through. And second of all, as I mentioned to you, we have this uh, small litmus test in our office. Okay, at the end of the day, we all, like, it should have this maja factor should be there. Like, we both should be happy. And it's a consensus that we look for. And not for, uh, so till then, till that uh, state is reached, and we are happy to take this forward to others. We don't, we don't stop. We, we have lots of... Uh, I wouldn't say arguments, but lots of discussions. That's great, that's great. So, uh, let's just talk about a few of your initial struggles and how did you deal with them and what kept you going during that time? After we decided to quit our job for the first three months, we had no other. And whoever we tried to approach, let uh, say, you say, understand, we literally burned ourselves because we had started in summer. Mm -hmm. We literally burned ourselves roaming around, trying to get contracts, trying to sell our uh, proposition to people. We were uh, very more demotivated and stuff. But the only one thing that uh, that I feel uh, that drives me is a challenge. If I have a challenge, if someone comes and challenges me, then I'm, uh, I go to the extent of being a maniac to ensure that it, it can be done. So that is something uh, whenever I challenged was we were posed with one challenge saying that it can be done. And when we were down, I couldn't just let go. Uh, second of all, uh, uh, we are uh, fortunate enough to have good uh, mentors with us. So, fact members, our good friends uh, who, who keep us going, our professors who we can disturb at any time the, of the day and we can talk to them. So, these are the things that kept us going. And see, when, when you start having seen people, uh, when the first sale happens, when you see people using your platform and uh, appreciating you, that keeps you motivated. So, even one, one sale a month, it keeps you going, saying, yeah, that one sale is working. And then uh, when, when we did started doing everything on our own, that's what we call uh, one of our things, our core, our, on our own, or something like that. So that is when we see the results, and those results keep us motivated. Even though initially we did not have uh, the results that we liked, but uh, it kept us going. Even one sale a yeah, month tells us that somewhere something out there, probably we made a mistake. And that uh, attitude that, that our professors instilled in us saying that failure is not, like giving up is not an, not an option at all. Now this is my life. That, that keeps us going. <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. So uh, how has this whole journey, you know, entrepreneurial journey of yours, do you feel it has changed you in some ways? Every entrepreneur learns a lot of humility. So when you, and when you go out there in the market, 
with your brilliant idea and you get challenged and you know, you are you are made to work harder and work better so it it actually uh, gives you humility it's not that you are the best in the world but it also makes you better as a person if you give up at that stage saying ki yaar usko to nahi samjhane but you want to challenge yourself and you take the hey what what went wrong can i do it better so as as a as an individual as an entrepreneur uh, everyone should understand this ki if you are in this journey you will you will only come out better is this because of where whether your business succeeds or fails or whatever and we had one uh, line in uh, one of our uh, one of our gujarati textbooks which i still remember it says ghasaine uh, ujla tha which means it was written i think i don't know who the writer was but it means ki yaar ghis ghis ke you that shine comes up so i still feel that i still believe in that ki aapko uh, have to more you struggle the more you get uh, you get uh, challenged you only polish yourself and make yourself better and brighter so that's what it is you know i i feel uh, uh, i have been meeting a lot of entrepreneurs and you you are very different from them and i really cannot actually it becomes very difficult for a person to understand that that a person wants to challenge himself to such a great extent and i have personally learned so much from this interaction of ours and i really thank you for uh, bearing me for so <laughs> with me for so long and patiently answering all my questions uh, thank you so much ram for your time and uh, you know i have i have really learned a lot from this interaction and i really hope other people also do learn from what you have discussed with me it could be related to funding or it could be just related to one's life itself thank you so much for taking out time for me thank you so much asta for this uh, opportunity thanks for watching this episode we hope you found this conversation insightful Please find all the details of this interview in the description and the podcast show notes. If you like it, please don't forget to hit the red subscribe button below, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. For latest updates, please follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Thank you.